Today, we are going to add three numbers up to 20. This can be a lot of fun. The important thing to remember when we add is that the order that we add the numbers doesn't matter. We need to add them in a way that is easier for us to do it in our heads. So I have four plus two plus five. Now there's more than one right way to solve this. So if your brain works differently, that's okay. Don't get stressed. I'm just showing it one way. So the first thing I'm going to add, if possible, would be doubles. Five plus five, four plus four, six plus six. I have no doubles. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to look for near doubles. So things that are close to being a double. So here I have four and five. They're near double. They're right next to each other. So what is four plus five? Four plus five equals nine. So now I've used those to get nine. So what do I have left? I have two. So what do I need to do with the nine and the two? I add them up. What is nine plus two? Eleven. So that means four plus two plus five equals eleven. Next, we have two plus two plus three. Do I have any doubles? I do. I have two plus two. What is two plus two? Four. Okay, now I can add the four, because I'm done with the twos, and this three. So what is four plus three? That equals seven. Good job. Okay, next one. Three plus one plus two. Now again, there's different ways to answer this, and this is just the way that I'm choosing to answer it. So if you add it in a different order but still get the same sum, that's what matters. Okay, I'm going to add one and two first. What is one plus two? Three. I did that on purpose because I wanted to take my double. Look, I made a double. Now I can do three plus three, which equals six. Next, one plus five plus three. Okay, I don't have any doubles. I don't have any near doubles really. So I can really just add in any order that I'm comfortable with. I'm going to do five plus three. What is five plus three? Eight. Okay, so I'm done with my five, I'm done with my three. I'm crossing them out so I don't accidentally add them another time. So now I have eight and one left. So what is one plus eight? That equals nine. So one plus five plus three equals nine. Next one, I have one plus four plus one. Do I have any doubles? I do. I have one plus one. What is one plus one? Two. Good job. I'm done with the doubles. So now what do I have left to add? I have the two plus the four, which equals what? Two plus four equals six. So one plus four plus one equals six. This time I have one plus five plus four. Okay, there's different ways to approach this one, different strategies. So I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to add one and four first. What is one plus four? That equals five. Now I'm done with the one and the four, so I can add the five 
and this 5 that was left, and what do I get? What is 5 plus 5? It equals 10. Excellent. How about this one? 3 plus 3 plus 2. Do I see any doubles? I do. I see a 3 and a 3. What is 3 plus 3? 3 plus 3 equals 6. So that means I have this 2 left and this 6. I can cross the 3 and the 3 out. So 6 plus 2 equals what? That equals 8. Let's do another one. 3 plus 3 plus 4. What do I want to ask myself first? Are there any what? Doubles. I see a double right here. What is 3 plus 3? Six, nice job. Crossing out those threes, I'm done with them now. I added them. So I have six and four left. Six plus four equals what? That equals 10, good job. Two plus two plus four. Again, I'm gonna start with my doubles. So I do 2 plus 2. What is 2 plus 2? That equals 4. Good job. I'm done with my 2, so I cross them out. So what do I have left? I have the 4 and the 4. So 4 plus 4 equals what? That equals 8. So 2 plus 2 plus 4 equals 8. How about 5 plus 3 plus 3? Okay, do I have any doubles? Yes, 3 plus 3 I can do first. What is 3 plus 3? That equals 6. I'm done with the 3's. So what is 6 plus 5? What does that equal? To 6 plus 5 equal 10, 11, 13, or 7? 6 plus 5 equals 11. Great job adding three numbers.